first of all, I wish you all a happy new year. Uh, loads of good things for everyone and loads of wins for Chelsea. And the Chelsea won because they're playing the first 2019 FA WSL game today against Everton. Hello guys and welcome back to 100% Chelsea today, first game of the of the new year actually, against Everton. Yeah, as you can probably see, I'm not in Wembley, so I'm not going to that game unfortunately. Uh, I'm still at home, uh, so I'm gonna the next game I'm gonna go to, I think it's gonna be Chelsea Women against uh, Birmingham. Uh, but yeah, I'm still in France. So, uh, however, I still make this preview for you guys if you're not going to the game today. So Everton, it's uh, it, it's been a good team in the WSL. However, this season I think they've had they've had a, quite a tough season. I mean, from September to December, obviously. You know, the manager got sacked, and trust me, it's not every day that this happens. It's a women's game. Uh, they had a new manager, Willie Kirk, and um, so he's the guy, the assistant of Kazi uh, Stoney. Uh, you know, my United. Uh, so yeah, he joined early December, and their first win they actually won it under this new manager um, against Liverpool in December as well. So yeah, they only won one game out of all the games um, this season so far, but they're currently at the, at the ninth uh, position with only five points. So yeah, I think out of ten games. And Chelsea are currently third in the league, just uh, below you know Arsenal. 27 points, City 27 points and Chelsea 22 points. So yeah, I think the title race is back on for Chelsea. I think they can still do it. That's why I'm very excited for, for the season now. And hopefully, obviously they need the three points today because every game is going to be a must-win game. Uh, also to make the top two for the Champions League or they might win it this season. I uh, never know. Yeah, Everton, they've, so they've, they've not really shown a great a great face so far in the, in the league, but... You know, uh, it's been a long time now, it's been over basically a month since the last uh, WSL games for every team. Uh, so Chelsea, the last game was against Brighton, they won 4-0 away. A uh, very good performance, I was at the game. I uh, was really happy to see Chelsea back playing, like, you know, like last season, uh, great football and attacking and scoring goals as well. And uh, Everton, the last game was against Bristol at home for them and they lost 2-0. So they on a defeat and we on a win. Obviously, we're playing at home, so it's an advantage as well. And the last, the very last game was actually in the Continental, Continental Cup, just like four days after Brighton, mid-December, against Tottenham Spurs, uh, and Chelsea won 5 0 So it was in the Conti Cup, you know, Tottenham are in the second division. But yeah, WSL has been a long time. Hopefully, they're, they're still focused and, and happy to be back on. And they're going to get three points today. What's good as well is that I know it's sold out today at King's Meadow. That's why I'm even more sad not to be there. I uh, hope the atmosphere is going to be amazing and everyone's going to support the, the team. Uh, also, information. Chelsea just signed anne Catherine Berg from Birmingham. She's a goalkeeper. So yes, um, now the question I'm asking is uh, how many goalkeepers uh, do Chelsea want in the team? Because now he's the fourth one and it's actually not bad keepers as well. You know, Edwin Linda, Carly Telford, Lizzie Durack and uh, Berger. Four goalkeepers for one spot. I think that's a bit, uh, it confuses me. Maybe it's to say that one of them is going to leave. Maybe Linda, you know, she's been here for a long time, but I think she's the best keeper. Uh, the best keeper for the for the team so i'm a bit confused with it uh, but yeah it probably means one keeper is going to leave i don't know uh, what do you think about that what's your opinion um leave that uh, down in the comments so uh Berger signed a deal from birmingham until 2022 uh, in my opinion she's a great keeper i've seen her play a few times against chelsea obviously and also she's been nominated a few times for the pfa women's player of the month award and she's from Germany. And finally, the last meeting uh, between Chelsea and Everton was earlier this season in September, when Chelsea was really, really struggling, uh, you know, with uh, ties and everything. So they drew nil-nil at Everton. Uh, it was quite a poor performance, but again, it was lack of attacking, lack of finishing. Uh, but I mean, it's a new Chelsea now, so hopefully it's going to be a different score at the end. So my score prediction is going to be 3 nil Chelsea, and I hope it's going to be the case. So yeah, guys, um, again, I wish you a happy new year and I hope the people going to the game today are going to enjoy it. And, and uh, yeah, make sure you subscribe to 100% Chelsea if you haven't already. That's a new year resolution and you can follow us on social media. It's going to be down in the description and I'm going to see you very soon.